Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, from Bois et Mercier, we are talking about the Capeland Shelby Cobra, a limited edition from 2015, celebrating 50 years since the Shelby Cobra's FIA GT Championship in the above 3,000 cc class. The watch is a limited edition of 1,965 after 1965, the year of its triumph, and it's 44 millimeters in diameter and stainless steel, 15 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 51.4 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now we'll throw the watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see it's a big timepiece. Being over 51 millimeters lug to lug and 44 millimeters in diameter, it's a large watch. So I would recommend it for a wrist bigger than mine. I think for this watch, you want to have a wrist of at least 17 centimeters circumference or larger. It's not excessively thick given what it is, and it will slide underneath most cuffs, but be advised, jacket cuffs are guaranteed. Really tight dress shirts are a maybe. That said, if your wrist is big enough, to wear this watch, your cuff may also be big enough. Taking a quick look, you can see everything here is red, white, and blue, and there's even a racing stripe on the dial. Colors appropriate for an American racing team and the Shelby American Cobra Daytona Coupes of 1965. We've got here actually a black strap with red accents, a contrasting white stitch. You can see medium rectangular scale alligator leather is employed. It's a matte finish. We have curved spring bars so that the lugs can be drilled close to the case for a better fit, and also we can have a more integrated look with less of a gap between strap and case thanks to that curved bar. The strap is thick and there's a lot of bolstering so you, they're not shorting you the leather, that's for sure. Turn it all over and we actually have a rubber inlay to ensure the longevity of the strap, a brand new Balme Mercier strap and the rubber helps to make it feel more supple against the wrist but also extend the life of the leather by protecting it from the moisture, sweat, heat and grit of the wrist. Now we have here a twin trigger release system, a double fold deploying clasp. You can see externally the Balme Mercier logo and then we've got a little feature here that is mindful of the fact that this is a physically massive timepiece. So we have a little element that will close and lock the strap into the buckle. This is something that you'll see on a lot of heavy watches from super high-end brands like Alanga. It's unusual to see it on something approaching an entry-level watch, but it does give you a lot of security against accidentally dropping the watch. Twin trigger release means it can't accidentally pop open. You can't just open it with one trigger. You have to press both. And a double fold means it's less likely to pinch a small wrist, which I like. We have blended integrated tapered lugs. You can see there's satination longitudinal along the case band. We have lug hoods that are also satinated, a polished conical bezel, and then vintage style pump pushers, mushroom style over at the three o'clock side of the watch. We've got a Bowman Mercier crown that's thin and cross section like a vintage piece, but the size of the watch is very modern as is the Cobra counterweight, the chronograph second sand. We've got a tachymeter on the dial which can be used for gauging the speed of an object such as a car over a kilometer. And the dial base itself is a blue metallic with a few wrinkles. You can see there's a tachymeter printed in white. The numerals themselves are in white. And then there's a small red chapter ring that runs all the way around bordering the tack and separating it from the hour and minute track. We've got silver registers for chronograph minutes and chronograph hours. And we have a small polished chaptering. They're actually polished chapterings for each of the registers, but a small polished chaptering for the blue constant seconds display. There is a date disc, and while this symmetrical dial may suggest that we've lost the quick set as often happens on Valju 7753s with this balanced layout because this is actually a La Jupere elaboration of a 7750 architecture. We still do have the quick set. We don't lose it for the tri-register balanced layout. We also have the hacking seconds function so that's there if you like it. We have one of the crispest cam chronographs I've ever encountered. Have a listen. Very crisp, it feels good, it sounds good, and because it's a 7750 architecture, which you can easily see right here, it uses an oscillating pinion rather than a conventional lateral clutch. So if you look carefully, when you engage an oscillating pinion, a lot of times it has very little jump to it. You press and you hold, and it should have half as much 
to none of the jump that you find on a conventional lateral clutch chrono because with an oscillating pinion, there's less play between the tiny pinion and the driven wheel. And you can really see that smoothness right there. Turning it all over, you can see Carol Shelby's signature reproduced on the reverse side. The watch is 50 meters water resistant. You can see it's one of 1,965. Taking a quick look, you can see that 7750 style architecture. Again, this is a Le Jupere version of it. LJP's version called the 8120. It's still a unidirectional automatic winder with a 42 hour power reserve, a 4 hertz beat rate, 25 pivot joules, quick set, hacking seconds, and then the combination of the cam, which you can see right here, and a oscillating pinion clutch. And you can see that it's been mechanically but handsomely finished for the display case back. If you love cars, if you love watches, this is your watch. You will need a big wrist to wear it. But then again, you won't need a Shelby Cobra budget. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.